Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Transformers Combiner Wars Superion in four minutes or less. Transformers Combiner Wars Superion stands just under 12 inches tall at the top of his rubbery, bendy antennae. He has an incredible range of movement due to the abundance of articulation, from shoulder and hip rotation and ratcheting to bendable elbows and knees and even head, wrist, and thigh swiveling. Superion is five transforming alien robots combined into one giant robot that has almost as much posability in combined form as any of the individual robots themselves. Hasbro cleverly engineered an attachment for each limb that doubles as either a hand with gripping fingers and a posable thumb when a figure is being used as an arm, or a foot when a figure is being used as a leg. Hand or foot, arm or leg? The name of the game in Combiner Wars is modularity, and modularity means interchangeability, so the name of the game is customization. Combiner Wars is a system of transforming alien robot toys that has suggested builds for each of the main characters like Superion, Menasaur, and Ultra Prime, but you can kick all of that to the curb and put them in any order you want. Cars on Superion, airplanes on Menasaur? Faction associations like Aerial Bots and Stunticons are nice if you want to stay within the established Transformers mythology, but if you just want to experiment with the possibilities of combinations for giant robots to fight each other, then welcome to Fun Town, Mayor. Get ready for tough times ahead, Your Honor, because some people are going to tell you that Alpha Bravo, a helicopter shoehorned in with the previously all jet plane aerial bots, has no place on your Superion, and to be properly G1 compliant, you must wait for the release of Quickslinger, the Combiner Wars equivalent of G1 Slingshot. However, as your counsel, I would advise you to tell those people that Combiner Wars gives you the tools to be your own boss. If you want to put that helicopter on there, put it on there. If you want to use Skydive as an arm, that's your call. If you want to be an even harder-assed G1 purist and turn the legs around so that the jet kibble is on the calf part of the leg instead of on the shin, that's hardcore. You're going to lose some voters, but that's who you are, and they're going to respect that. See, Hasbro has already moved so much stuff around that you can't be fully G1 compliant anyway. Heck, two of the characters don't even have their original names. Fire Flight is now Firefly, and as previously mentioned, Slingshot is now Quickslinger. And don't even get me started on the fact that the original aerial bots were designed after actual jet planes that were in service, not pseudo knockoffs that resemble actual jet planes. Oh, we're doing this? Okay, let's go! G1 Silverbolt was modeled after the French supersonic transatlantic airliner that has been out of service since 2003. This Silverbolt is Concorde ish. They did give it droop nose capability when in alt mode, but it's also got two tails and a bunch of fantasy bits added on. G1 Air Raid was an F-15 Eagle, Combiner Wars Air Raid is an F-14 Tomcat, Fire Flight was an F-4 Phantom, Firefly is an AV-8B Harrier-ish jet, Skydive was an F-16 Falcon, now it's an F-16, F-18 kind of hybrid, and if you do decide to wait for Quickslinger, formerly Slingshot, that's just a repaint of Firefly's Harrier-ish mode anyway. So how is any of that truer to G1 than swapping out for a helicopter? All good points. You just might ride this to a second term. If you're a G1 crybaby who can't accept that anything new could potentially be better designed, better made, and more fun than the toys that were released 30 years ago, then you're probably going to want to pass on this, Transformers, and probably pop culture in general. If you have more money than you know what to do with and prefer your combining alien robot toys to be overly complex and infringe on someone else's intellectual property, then the third-party versions are probably more suited for you, so this is an easy pass. If you like fun, highly articulated, transforming alien robot toys that set a new standard of engineering complexity in that they are all triple changers and exist in an ever-expanding line of interchangeable giant alien robot parts, then Superion and all of the Combiner Wars figures are must-haves, so if you see one of each, buy them. And if you see two, leave one for the next collector.